All right, so we made a beat um, on the noise channel that sounds like this. Cool, now we're gonna create our first um, pulse chain. So navigate over to the pulse channel, double tap A, will create a new unused chain. So at each level, at a song, on a song level, um, and then at a chain level. So on the song page, actually, these are these are chains. So at a chain level, <coughs> oops, I didn't want to do that just yet, but that's okay. Um, at a chain level, at a phrase level, and at an instrument level, we don't want to over we don't want to overwrite um, the ones that we're currently using. Cool. So, double tapping A will create a new unused chain, and I just pressed, did it before, and created chain one, and it rem it's remembered that. So I'm kind of like out of out of sync at the moment. But if you haven't stuffed it up yet, it will do the next unused chain. So chain zero, chain one. Let's go into chain one. Hold select and go to the right. Great. Um, here we need to create a new phrase. Now we've already used up phrases 0, 1, and 2 in our percussion. Some people come up with uh, smart systems for how they remember what phrase is what, um, like using phrases 1 to 10 for the first, using phrases like 1 to 10 for the pulse wave, pulse 1 and 10 to 20 and 20 to 30 and 30 to 40. We haven't done anything like that, so just double tap A. That should give us the next available phrase. We use zero, one, and two in the other part, so it should be three. Cool. Um, and then we're going to go into here, and now we can put in some notes. Um, again, just A, and then hold A, left and right, go up and down, semitones, octaves, with the up and down, and A. Cool. Um, so. Cool. We can change the instrument. This should be instrument two because we used instrument one in our um noise channel, so I'm going to change this to equal to all of these. So the sound isn't necessarily changing, it's the right thing to do. Now we want to edit that instrument. We could um, change the envelope. To this page now like they say in the introduction video you could create a new instrument preset for each of these notes if you wanted them to sound different but that would be time consuming so that's what these commands are for now the list of commands is in the manual yeah and if you just start by going back to the top the index is fantastic links to all the different parts in the manual um, Start, let's have a look through it. So we've got screens, instruments, tables, grooves, synth selection, advanced techniques, key commands. Ah, here are the commands. So these are all the different ones. A, um, B, C is for chord, D is for delay, E is for envelope, F, uh, fine tune, G for groove, H for hop, K, L for slide. I urge you just to try different notes out on these effects. So let's just try one. Like um, chord is a chord is a good one. Without even looking at it, let's just put C on the first one. So let's put it here. So I'm going to hold A and left and right to change the letter. So let's just see what that does now. Now nothing yet, and then you might go. So what's wrong with it? What you could do is look at the manual and see what we need to type or 
put in as these second two values. Here, for a pulse wave or wave instruments, pulse or wave instruments, so this doesn't work on noise, runs an arpeggio that extends the, from the bass note given uh, with the given two semitones. Speed may be slowed using the command rate in the instrument screen. Amazing. But anyway, so C and then an interval and then an interval. Cool. And you can have C and C here. We'll, we'll see what that, that that does. But here's and let's do the map the minor chord three and seven. Here we go. Oh, for starters, I didn't do C. I did A. What a funny thing to do. So this is what A sounds like. Still, this is what chord sounds like. Still the same. But then if we change this to three and seven, as it suggests. Cool. Change the octave. Fantastic. And we could just try and experiment with a few other commands. Go back to that, back to the index. This is where it starts to get real fun, real quickly. Uh, um, cool. The other ones they said that they liked in the video were amplitude, envelope, um, wave, and vibrato. Vibrato would be good. Let's do uh, vibrato. Let's do wave and vibrato. So um, let's just put. Uh, I can see that he put some vibrato. And, and other effects, like not necessarily on the note, but afterwards, and it apparently it must be the noise is still um, ringing out. By the time you do it, it works. And then let's put a slide in. Oh. S for slide. S is for sweep. L is for And we need to put, for most of these commands, you're going to need to put values in for them to do anything. So let's start with the vibrato one. Vibrato. Um, vibrato speed and shape. Depends on the pitch settings. First digit sets the speed, second sets the depth. All right, first digit sets the speed. Second sets the depth. Target note in a given duration. So um, let the instrument pitch setting is take the duration. Otherwise, it's in seconds. So like in in um, so it's just the time. This result in the slides that starts. C bends to F. Sorry, and quickly back to. Cool, so here we go. Let's try. Ah, amazing. Finally, when you're editing your um, phrase on the pulse channel, you won't hear the noise channel, but now we can play it together. How might I go about turning that down? What I would have to do is just turn down the bass channel set volume. I will work that out later. Anyway, those are our two parts. Oh. 